very quickly moved from the Norman army that invaded England to the English army. And England was born, I suppose, as it is now. So we've moved on a little bit to 1105. Longbowmen can deploy palings to effectively guard against a cavalry charge. That's quite a valuable feature for a, a ranged unit. Hmm, so that last scenario really typifies RTS gameplay for me, is where you develop a base and then you spend ages building up an army that's big enough to go and just swamp the enemy base in one go while spending off little attacks. I don't know what you guys think of it. I, I tend to get a bit tired of that sort of formula very quickly, so I like things that are done a bit differently. And I thought the these scenarios might be. Normandy. King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayeux, a town still loyal to his brother, Duke Robert. Scott Bayeux. <laughs> Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Are they going to charge into that nest of spikes? Having oh, I see. Their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. That seems a bit they good. They defeated the first patrol. Double left click to select all your archers. We press that very quickly. <laughs> it's like a bloody porcupine suddenly appearing. I'll tell you what, it should appear along the front. It looks ridiculous as being in the back ranks. <laughs> okay, we've got more coming. As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. The sticks back. Oh, they didn't fancy that time, eh? So, group only your longbowmen, group only your spearmen. Control one. They have no special ability, they don't. Mid May. Yeah, yeah, we are. And group two. Oh, I'm on cooldown. No. We're gonna get slaughtered. Mistakes were made. I didn't realise there was a cooldown on that. Yeah, Henry's come to visit us. Oh, I miss Kingdom Come Deliverance. I do need to play it again. Scouts. Right, two. You stand behind. Is that triggered after moving every time, then, that cooldown? Oh, no, it's because I moved it, probably got rid of the old spikes that were there. So, it just says to destroy Bayou. Let's go and... Uh, I'll just put those down for a moment. <laughs> anyway, let's get these guys on. I'm going to go see what I'm up against here. Shall we go and kill all their farms? Right, let's march this forwards. And he can lead bravely from the rear. Here they come. Here they come. Come on. Scouts are going to die. No, we didn't quite. We didn't quite lull them into it. Let's go and see what we're up against. It's a Tower of Doom. Ah, oh, that would be a nice place to put uh, some longbowmen. Oh God, there's that lot there as well. 
and a defensible location to construct it. What if I put my longbow up here? Do they have additional range? Oh no! Damn, cavalry caught me when I was moving. It wasn't part of the plan. Can we attack from there? It does feel like they get a bit more range. Well, the tower's done. I am going to go and stand up there. I'll just bring my uh, spears up just in case. We might see something really nice from the top of there. Go and destroy that mill. Oh, God. Get through them. Pull them back. That's not good. That's not good. And let's pull those um, spearmen back before they all die. So what do I have to do? I have to capture the forest village. Oh, it's further up there somewhere. Let's send these guys over. I, I did think that the, uh, the longbows might actually be able to shoot the walls from up there, but... Oh, no, don't go that way. Wait, hang on, no, no, they are shooting mine. Scouts, give me some vision. Can we get over there? It's gonna be across the bridge. Oh, what? What? I have to I have to go in front of all these nasty towers. Okay. I see what you want me to do. I'll just make sure we kill all this. I think he can use your leader as like just free damage because he can be resurrected if he if he dies or if he gets exhausted. You guys kill those things on top of there. Ah, Spearman. Spearman, okay. You lot get out of there, morons. I don't think I have any spears left. Okay, you can just wander off over there. Actually, you can, you can draw this cavalry on, can't you? Two. And deploy stakes. Retreat! Did it work? No, it didn't. I'm just going to have to send the, the guys in. They sound like they're speaking Italian, these guys. Have I seen the new Soviet focus tree for No Step Back? 
I haven't had a look at it, Michael. Um, I'll be taking a look at it uh, real soon, though. I'll be picking up that DLC. I, I might play... I'm going to do a Fr France playthrough next week. And I might play without it. So I'm going to read up the reports and see if people think it's particularly broken at the moment. And um, if they think it needs patching, I'll wait a bit before picking it up. But I, I'm looking forward to, to checking it out because... I loaded up a game offline, off stream to take a look at the Russian tree not that long ago. I was kind of disappointed by how it was, and I, I, I did play through them, but I could have sworn there was, there was more interesting stuff to do. But um, I'm looking forward to seeing what it's like anyway. Right. Oh, big pause there, big freeze. Build a blacksmith. Let's get those guys to work. We will need... Do we have a barracks? We do not. Tell you what, let's get someone going at the gold over there. Don't do that, actually. Build a mining camp right next to it. Each a woker. Uh, what have we got? We just need a blacksmith somewhere, don't we? Blacksmith. That one. It doesn't matter where it goes. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, HS Nopi. For someone who's, like, building a new to RTS, what advice do you have? For this one, um, I don't know. When you, when you first start out, I would play at an easier level to get the hang of it. With because a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Thank you. And uh, because when you play at intermediate and above levels, the enemy will get quite aggressive and they'll rush out of their bases to attack yours. And when you're new to the game and figuring things out, you never get a pause to really build up your army. But that's kind of how these things work. You build your army up till it's massive and then you go over and swamp the enemy base in one go. Whilst uh, I was checking the map for resources with the scouts. Do I still have scouts? Or did they die? Looks like they died. Let's get some more. Well, one will do. Um, yeah, it's like trying to deny resources to the enemy whilst building them up for yourself. Defend your base, i.e. turtle up, and then go and swamp the enemy base in one big go. Tends to be how these things work. Let's get some upgrades for the, for the troops. We're going to need a barracks. I'll take my little scout on a journey as well. What about defences? Should you build massive defences? I like building defences in these. In the campaign, you won't really need to, but if you play the skirmish modes, then you definitely should. And you can use uh, defences as a way of denying access to certain parts of the map to the enemy. Like uh, one of my favourite things is to build a little barricade around a bridge with a gate on that you can control and then towers around it to stop the enemy being able to come through. I mean, that would be a good idea here because they wouldn't be able to come zerging across here and attack me but i don't think that they're going to do that i might be wrong but we'll see oh we've got another village over here i'm just going to go and chop that lumber camp up i mean doing this could now construct battering rams Doing siege weapons designed to break open fortress walls. Thank you. Thank you, narrator. Yeah, doing that might <laughs> might suddenly get a load of angry horsemen coming at you. Are they going to do it? They're not now. <laughs> I'm going to stand there impotently at the top of the hill and they're going to sit there impotently at the bottom of the hill and no one dare attack the other. Right, we need reinforcements here, so upgrade too early. Can we do a... No, we can't. Get me another barracks right next door. And we'll form the army over here. There's a blacksmith. Blacksmith's nearly done. You can bring back the monarchy in no step back. Oh, the Russian monarchy. I might do that. That might be interesting to do. It, it, it'll it trigger a, a civil war, won't it? Select infantry to build rams. All in good time. All in good time. I think we need more soldiers first. 
<laughs> that sounded like someone complaining that uh, I was giving them some hardware. What's this? Arsenal. How's this technology to improve ranged units and siege engines? Oh, yeah, let's build one of them. You guys can go and build an archery range on top of the hill. Right, you guys can actually build a ram. Let's let's build. Can I do one, two? I really want to go and destroy this just just for the sake of it to stop them building up more troops. Do you know what? Give me one guy. I am going to do this. So we go from here to there. Oh, that actually meets a tower or something? Okay, that wasn't quite the plan. I don't know if I can go as close to the wall as that, but I might get shot. We'll see what happens. So we have... And then you guys need to build one more ramp, please. I need some more wood. Uh, let's get some reinforcements up here. And let's build some... Shall I expand down here? Ah, I'm stuck in the wrong place. Last minute, desperately throw some spikes up. I think my battering rams might get destroyed there. Cheerless. What have got in the way of a lumber camp then? Yes, I, I kind of got um, marmalized there. Let's go and set up a... Can I get the rams out of there actually? They're fine, they're doing okay. I'll put them on top of the hill. I like how that pig's just wandering calmly through the, my massive arches. I don't actually know if destroying houses makes a difference to the enemy in this in these scenarios. Whether because in the, in the skirmish mode it does it reduces the maximum population and units they can have. I don't know if it matters here at all. We can see the gates over there. What have we got? Let's have. Oh, I'm short of gold. All right. You three get gold digging. Give me. Give me another five villagers. I might be doing this for nothing. It might not require all this effort. Right, let's run a scout up to the walls and see what it looks like. Okay, we've got uh, Bowman on top. What's all the shouting? Are you stuck on the wrong side? How big is this city? All right, it goes all the way around there. Let me get out before I get uh, destroyed. Uh, what have we got? I've got these. Got an archery range. Right, that's probably. I'm not going to bother with cavalry. Give me three. Get chopping some wood. I could probably. With the power of battering rams, the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. One, two. Let's have some more houses down there. You. Yeah, you're not going to. I was worried about. Troops coming over here, but I don't think I need to be, so. And you can do another farm. You were leery to buy this game? Have you seen what, uh, where people click something or send in a unit half a second too late and they lose the whole game? They have zero interest in this. What I would actually recommend is look up 
Age of Empires 2, which is set in the medieval era, sim well, the same as this. And it'll be real cheap on Steam. In fact, it might be on some Black Friday sales. So take a look on GOG.com. I don't know if it's in theirs, but uh, it, there could be some real good prices on it at the moment. Because I feel like it's basically the same game. I, I really do. And it'll be about two quid or something. And you can play it and see what you think about it. And then pick up this whilst it's cheap. Unless you have Game Pass. And then you can play this and there's no, uh, you know, there's no, there's no loss to it. Give me, um... I don't want all of them. I'll do one at a time. Give me some more farms around this. But Age of Empires 2 was, was really good. And it uses exactly the same mechanics. Yes, yeah, not a bad idea to lock that gate. And now his force is braced for an attack by Robert's army. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yep. Don't know what that was doing. It was going mad. One. Two. Three. And I am out of wood. Mm, I am now. Um, well, I've got my spikes down, so I'm hoping that that's going to be enough. I should have put them on this uh, thing up here, shouldn't I? I thought they might come across the bridge. Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Yes, yeah, suspect more are coming. Let's go on top of this hill. What have we got? We've got archers forming up. These guys doing nothing. Just got to breach the walls now, so I guess I will maybe not worry about these. Is there anything we can upgrade? And we've got some more of them. Now that we've got a nice supply of gold, we can actually recruit more of those guys. You played the original because you like to roam around killing things with a mangonel. Winning was optional. I is Actually, Age of Empires 1 was, I think, the first game I played with a LAN connection. Me and a mate hooked uh, two PCs up. They were both mine. It's when I was learning to build them and mess around with them and stuff. And um, we, we played co-op against uh, the AI. I always felt like the AI cheated. But um, it was pretty good. Okay, so they've got a tower up there. It'll be our tower versus their tower. Don't want to send the archers in. Don't want to get involved in that fight just yet. Actually, let's put these guys there. I'm going to fill these up. The swordsmen. And then we shall go in. It just says breach the walls, though. It doesn't really say that I have to do it in any particular place. I like how my tower isn't... Sh or is it shooting back? That's got some damage on. I wonder if I can destroy that. Let's bring these people back out of the way. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Looking like a bit of a pink cushion. Probably not the most effective way, but this tower is just drawing the fire, so we will eventually get that. That'll be fine. One guy trying to take out a tower with a bow and arrow. It might be a little while. Oh, it wasn't the original Wickrack. You played Age of Empires 2. I played I played them both. I like the 
I like the idea of the original one because it was set in the ancient times and uh, you, could, you could build different, well, they were called different units. There was the Phalanx, there was Centurions and Legions and stuff like that. Um, I don't know, it didn't really feel quite like the... I was hoping to get like a strategy war game. This is in the days when you bought games in a box still. And uh, I was disappointed that there was never any reason to build anything less than the most powerful units for your armies. So, um, I think it was okay. I enjoyed it. Age of Empires 2 was better, I think, in the medieval era. Playing like the Teutonic Knights campaigns and things like that. Well, that worked well. It took a while, but we got it. Oh, I, do I have to breach these walls here? I can't, I can't just battering ram away at this bit, because this would... Do you know what? I'm going to try that. Just empty that. And send in three battering rams. I'm going to destroy this here. And watch out that there isn't a, an attack comes down there. Can I really outrange... Oh, well, that's a bonus, isn't it? I'm going to plant my stakes. Let's see if I can sneak in here. Why did I put those men in the building? In in which belt building? I didn't put anyone in there. Oh, they're coming out. The rams are loose. walls have failed. And Henry's men could now storm the city. Well, we can. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayeux. But Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. Okay, I need the I need the melee troops for this bit. But you can, you can put archers into these towers and things. And they will they'll upgrade them. Actually these towers aren't doing anything, so I guess I have to actually garrison them myself. Before they'll shoot out. I hadn't appreciated that. Yeah, we, we better keep a few more of those coming. We're just going to storm in. I'm going to destroy buildings. Tell you what, let's let's send three batteries. No, let's not send three battering rams at that. My knights are going wild in there. I think we're in there. Hey Mordred, how's it going? We're just beating up a French city at the moment. Should probably try and take out the archers on the walls. There is his one. Send them in. Where are my rams at? Uh, let's go and knock that tower down because that's really annoying. I guess if we build a siege tower, I could have just landed men straight onto the walls and run along and killed all those archers. That might have been a cool idea. Keep it up, keep it up. Oh, I should probably bring the boss in as well. I was hoping these towers wouldn't fight back if there's no archers in. Oh god, there's going to be something horrible down here, isn't there? Archers on them. Right, let's just set them off to there. Poland gets a new focus tree and no step back. Oh, nice. I've never played as Poland. Well, I have, actually. That's not true. But I've not done a full successful campaign through. And uh, it's always nice when they update the focus trees. Although sometimes I object to having to buy 
an expansion to get a better focus tree when I sometimes think that the ones in the main game are quite lacking. But I mean, it's the way Paradox works, so. Uh, try and pull these guys back a bit, actually. We're getting chewed up there. Nope. Get those. I feel like I'm running out of... Let's get... Uh, let's sod these towers. Let's get the rams on the inside. Uh, I tell you what, let's, let's do this. And then they can get in there a bit faster. Like you can just go straight for that. Are the warbows still as OP as they were in the days of Age of Empire? Uh, yes, these longbows do seem to be rather good, I've got to say. I was at an archery competition once, and the guy's warbow next to me exploded at full draw. Well, I say exploded, that sounds a little bit dramatic. Technically it did, but it just broke, snapped in half. Small shower of splinters, guy got a bit of a shock. Everyone else had a good laugh. Right, rams, go for it. In you go. Let's go and kill some archers. Those uh, footmen are doing incredibly well. Uh, 